Tim Shambly with Stromquist.com, another segment of Tim's Tech Tips. I would like to invite you to take a look at a product that might solve a problem you have. When, uh, when you're looking at HVAC control, we're typically using just a regular thermostat if it's DX control. We've been doing that for years and years and years. And yeah, it's, it's kind of done it, uh, done okay. However, that's when energy wasn't the big deal. Well, nowadays, everybody is, is interested in energy. And so what, what did we do? We went to a little bit more sophisticated uh, thermostat that did programming. Okay, so we've, we've done that and it saved some energy. But if we really want to take it to the next level, Let's take a look at this product, and, and it's uh, by InTouch. Uh, we represent InTouch in the state of Georgia. Um, but InTouch is a company out of Texas, and they have uh, a product. They've got a what they call the InTouch Pro, and I call this the little brother thermostat of the, the two thermostats. The big brother stat is called the InTouch One. Now the InTouch Pro is a Wi-Fi based thermostat. Uh, it controls up to two, heat, uh, two uh, stages of heat, two stages of cool. Uh, it also has a wonderful little uh, option right here if you look at this lens. Uh, this is a motion sensor. So you can have this program for occupied and unoccupied times. And then let's say someone comes in after hours. Well, this sees the movement, changes the set points to occupied, and then when they, they leave, this goes back, it sees no more movement, you, then you're back to your set back uh, temperatures. Uh, now, now, just think of the opportunity for churches, because churches have uh, people coming in at odd hours from time to time. And if you've ever gone by a place that is closed and you see every, all their condensing units or, or package units running and you, you, you just know that it's because somebody didn't set the thermostat back or they, you know, you may have a programmable that someone has overridden it and put it on hold and it's going to maintain that 72 degree temperature and your cooling is going to run, run, run. Um, that's not good to do nowadays. Uh, today we need to focus on energy and so this will give you the opportunity to do that again with the uh, occupancy detection through the motion sensor and the cool thing about this is it works and nobody touches it it just works now uh, let's take a look at the big brother stat where the little brother's two heat, two cool, this is a little more robust. This gives you three heat, uh, I mean, uh, three cool and two heat. Uh, it, it, both of these thermostats function like a regular thermostat. Any piece of equipment that can be operated by a conventional thermostat can be operated using the InTouch family. Uh, now, there's a, uh, an additional thing that this thermostat does it has, uh, in addition to the Wi-Fi radio, which this one has also, this has an internal radio that talks to its accessories. And so uh, let me introduce you to a couple of the accessories. One, and one of my favorites, is uh, the power monitor. Uh, historically, it's been quite expensive to do power monitoring. Now with this product, we have the ability to monitor energy and, uh, and track it and trend it, graph it very economically. So uh, you start out with the uh, Big Brother InTouch 1 thermostat. You add to it the InTouch GM8. Now this is a little black box that uh, fits in the uh, circuit breaker panel and it wires uh, to the electric uh, uh, gets voltage and uh, this is actually part one of two parts uh, at when I'm uh, the next part part two of this presentation I'm actually going to go deeper into the wiring aspect of these this family here this is just an introduction but we power it and then we take CTs 
and put it uh, on the uh, incoming leads to the breaker. And this has split core. You just uh, put it around the wire so no disconnecting of it. And so you can uh, look at your power coming in, whether it's two phase or you're looking at, I mean, single phase, you're looking at two legs of power or three phase. Uh, this will do both. And then what's really unique about this product is not only can you look at the main, what's coming into the panel, you can take smaller CTs and look at uh, the branch loads going out. And this will look at up to eight branch loads. Now, if you've got a three-phase branch load, you can actually, if it's balanced load, you can use one CT and tell the software that it's three-phase and it'll automatically do the math. So you don't have to have three CTs for uh, a three-phase. So, you know, just one is, uh, is, uh, will suffice. And so we can look at eight subloads. Now, if that's not enough, that's okay. Because all we have to do is add another one of these GM8 modules. And then you have eight more. And if that's not enough, you add another. Now we've got 24. How many do you need? <laughs> so uh, just a wonderful, wonderful addition to track and trend your, uh, your power. You can also, on the power, on the software, uh, which is web-based, and there's, there's no fees to that software, uh, and no subscriptions or anything, uh, you can associate your branch loads. So uh, on the computer, when you look at your system, not only do you see all the normal information you would expect to see with a thermostat, uh, what's running, how long has it been running, what's your temperatures, all this, and all this can be graphed, but you see your power usage. And and it will associate loads. So you can say, well, I've got four loads that are for my air conditioning loads, and then I've got uh, four that's for my lighting. And, and so you can group those so that the report will show total KW for your AC, total KW for the lighting, or you can be very uh, uh, sophisticated in how you group and associate all these things. And of course, you see the individual um, uh, loads uh, also. Um, if you track and trend this, then you can see if, by, according to the, uh, your KW usage, uh, you can see if maybe you're using power when you shouldn't be because you see it real-time, time of day. Uh, you, it even associates power load occupied versus unoccupied. So what, that, what I call this is poor man's analytics because today it's all about energy, it's all about knowing, it's all about analytics. So let me uh, look at another device uh, looks very similar to the KW meter, but this is a uh, remote sensor module. Now this will uh, take four standard um, generic temperature sensors. So it's nothing OEM here. Uh, and you plug these in. Uh, this, by, uh, by the way, has two remote sensors in this, so the combination of these two gives you six sensor uh, inputs. Now, with those sensor inputs, you can control off of them, you can monitor off of them, you can alarm. Uh, some people have put these on um, uh, cold storage units, freezers, huge walk-in freezers where if the temperature gets up, uh, all of a sudden an alert is emailed to the right people and you don't have a situation where you come in on Monday morning and Friday evening after an electrical storm, your refrigeration went out, and now you've got thousands and thousands of dollars of ruined frozen food. Big, big opportunity there. And then lastly, this will accept a temperature, uh, a DC input. So we can take a zero to 10 volt signal. And so that can come from a number of different things. Uh, it can come from a remote humidity sensor. Uh, but I've, uh, I've picked uh, this device right here because I think more and more 
we're looking at energy, but we're also looking at indoor air quality. And when we're looking at indoor air quality, one of the litmus tests we're looking at is CO2. And uh, so I've got a CO2 monitor here that has a zero to 10 volt output. So I can hook this CO2 monitor to this thermostat and it can communicate to the portal, to the web-based portal, and graph and trend your CO2 uh, of, of that space of where this is. And you can see history over weeks, months. Uh, you can see a, up to a year of data on this. So uh, I think that all these things blended together make for a system that will solve many, many of your problems, whether it's energy, IAQ. This is in touch. It's more than a thermostat. It's a system. If you're interested in information on this, my email is tim at stromquist.com. This is a system that will solve your problems and you will not believe how competitive this is. And if you'd like to know pricing, email me, tim at stromquist.com. We can provide you with a product or refer you to your local distributor. Also, email me if you would like to be on a list to receive notifications when we have live on-stream training on this or similar products. Again, my email is tim at stromquist.com. Thanks for tuning in to another Tim's Tech Tips.